What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Gotham, aka GCA, back at with you with another one. I just want to first start off by saying thank you, and I appreciate all the subs. I have made it to 500 subscribers on my channel. Thank you for all the supporters out there. I know it's been a minute since I've been on the channel. Uh, I've been going through a lot of personal things going on, trying to just fix everything up, and um, I do apologize for being in, in not in being completely vanished at this point. So I just want to get that out of the way. Uh, the reason I'm making this this video today is about something I saw online. Uh, there's been a few videos about the, our Gen, Gen 3 Big Blue RK one up, and there's someone that goes by. Let me make sure I get this right. Low budget RK, shout out to him. I watched his video the other day. He made a deluxe big blue. I'm wondering what happened to RK one up with this. You know, when we look at the first, the Gen three big blue, it didn't get the the applause that it should have got. I thought it had a really games like game games list, even though the control panel was sloped. Uh it was still a pretty good cabinet. I love the marquee, one of the best marquees out there in the market. But I wonder why we never got a second version of it. And the second version where it kind of looks like more like the second addition to it. And I would hope that Capcom, if they still have the license for Capcom, they will basically be supportive of this cap. I'm wondering why RK1 has not put this cap out there. You know, for some apparent reason, we getting rehashes, but this one is not a rehash. I, I'm not understanding that because we haven't received any legacies this year. No Midway, no uh, Taito, no Capcom, no Atari. We haven't received any kind of legacies this year, and it's weird, which is really weird because the simple fact that this is about the same time that we would normally get a legacy cap in from RK One Up. So I'm trying to understand where the cabinets are at at this point. I was looking at um, shout out to She Line Gaming. She had took a. Uh, the, the Dynamo uh, Street Fighter cat that we just got, and she put Street Fighter 3 in it. I was wondering why we haven't seen any new titles come out as of yet, like the Street, the Street Fighter 3, the Street Fighter Alphas, the Alien vs. Predator, and the cap, the Big Blue cabinets. Even though we have seen renders on the Predator, uh, Alien vs. Predator, we've seen the render on that, but then we go back to... Low budget, low budget arcade. You could throw a Street Fighter Three in that new big blue cabinet that he made. I, I thought it was a beautiful cabinet. Um, if you look on the screen, you can see it that that cabinet is extraordinary. I, I love that he extended up. Now it's upward. It has the control, uh, the coin doors. It's kind of poking out like a like a Gen Two blue, big blue, and then. If you go to she, she Lions Gaming, you can add that, you know, you can add a Street Fighter 3 to it. So I'm, I'm wondering, like, what is going on with them? Plus, we see, and shout out to Bill's Retro Show, we see a, there was supposed to be a big blue on it, even though it might have been an XL, and it probably would have been looking just like that deluxe form factor, but I'm just saying, like, what, what's going on here? Like, I'm trying to really understand understand what's really going on right now. I mean, this is the reason why a lot of people are losing faith in RK One Up because they're doing the rehashes and they're trying to gain back some of the money. But I I can understand you trying to throw the the older games out there for the people that missed out on the way one way two because. I've been in since 2018, so I still have all my Gen 1s and Gen 2s and all my Gen 3 cabinets. So maybe you, there's still a market for it. But for the people that's still waiting around for these cabinets, for the new cabinets, 
why not put these cabinets out there for all of us so we have something new to look forward to? And I, I mean, even though we got Fast and Furious last year and Time Crisis, which they were both overpriced, to be honest, I felt like Fast and Furious should have been 500 right off the brakes. I felt like Time Crisis should have been six. For these cabinets to be six, seven hundred, it's well out of place. It's outpriced. And people are just waiting for sales to happen. Hopefully by Evo, uh, Evo 2024, you might get some new uh, new announcements on these new cabinets popping up. I, I would still like to see a roadmap for, for RK1 of, like, just give some direction, some, some idea what's going to happen in the marketplace. Because right now, we see a lot of rehashes coming in, but no one for sure. And then the thing is, how do you expect the community to be hyped about a Golden Seed Deluxe when we just got an XL last year? All you're doing is trying to replace what used to be. You know, we got a Golden Seed, we got an X Men 97, and you didn't even sell out. Like, I've seen Gen 2 Golden Teas here in Texas, still on the shelf, pallets of it. You even sold those out. But then you bring out a deluxe and you still got XLs out there. I like my, make that make sense to me. Like, why not drop the deluxe when you drop the XL? Give the the consumer the choice to pick which one that favors their situation. And my thing is dropping them at two different times is why the killer instinct didn't do well. Because you dropped the three-quarter scale and then you dropped the pro. At two different times and then didn't tell nobody what the, which I was doing. That doesn't make sense. Drop both of them at the same time. It's just like the NBA Jam. You're going to drop the Deluxe, the XL, then drop the Conor K and the Party K. Give, overwhelm the community with four options, but just limit the amount of cabs you put out per, per form factor. So allow the consumer to, allow the consumer to make a choice based on what they want to buy, whether they want to buy all four or a particular one, and then RK one of can see what numbers is the what is driving the market to buy a certain cab and just produce more of that one. That way you're not overstocked with a bunch of more out there. So that way Walmart, Best Buy, you know, all the other retailers will buy into these cabinets. Because right now they lose their faith in it seems like they lose their faith also. So, my conclusion to all this, do you feel that I'm going off tier by making a direct attack on RK1UP? I'm not shilling for a product. I'm being a, loyal, a loyalist to the product. Like, I love RK1UP, and I'm glad they're in the market space, but I'm not going to shill and make it seem like they're not making mistakes. I feel like some mistakes could be overturn, fix, adjust it, you know, because being that I'm in the military, I, I we see it all the time. So, yes, I do want to make sure that we're getting the products to the masses instead of to just the minimum. And I'm not going to show and be on my channel like, oh, RK, one of this great, they make awesome product, and then turn around a couple months later and then just basically destroy them. I, I'm just going to be honest. I'm a loyalist to the product. I love what they have done and bringing people in the market bring like i have a bunch of new friends in the market that's great but where's new cats to keep this 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 train moving forward i love the fact that when i have fomo to go out there and buy these calves and will to spend bread a lot of us do but how can we do that when we don't have no new calves on the market to really drive the force that rk one of is supposed to be the number one home arcade product in the community so i would say this i'm going to end it right here do you think that i have an argument for what i'm saying or should i just be patient and just accept the rehashes and whatever other cabinets that come out in the market so if you like this video please like and subscribe i appreciate all the positivity that i got in the community from everybody uh, shout out to Quarter Deck. He's been doing an awesome job out there. PD7, 
corn can with his, you know, he, high excitement, you know, to my brothers, one of underground and SWAT 919. I, you know, I, I, I love y'all brothers. Hopefully I get to meet up with y'all one day. Uh, 19K Fox, keep doing what you're doing. P does keep doing what you're doing as well. Thank you for always supporting my channel. Uh, as well as Jason Little Alien, you know, he's always shouting me out, and I want to give him a shout out today because I don't never shout him out on my on my um my channel. Uh, uh, Little Hobbit, same thing with you, brother. I, I appreciate all the love that you give me, but I want to close the session out with this video and just just let's get let's get a conversation going. Let's get some feedback on what should be happening right now in this community. And I want to see some productivity going. Maybe we can get a movement together and get a, a second version of Big Blue Volume 2 out there because this is a beautiful cabinet. And I'm going to post it up on the screen again so that way you get to see it. So this is your boy Gotham, a.k.a. GCA, back at you with another one. And I'm checking out it, checking out. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.